everyone. Um, today we're going to be painting on a canvas and we're going to be using acrylic paint. Um, so before we get started in a few minutes, you can get out a paint shirt if you have one. Um, and you'll want to put your art supplies under your table when you get started. Um, you're going to need a lot of room, okay? So we have been working with pop art in this um, art club and we've been making things um, inspired by Wayne Tebow when we did our donuts. And so today we're going to be doing a cupcake painting. This is my sample. Um, so you're going to be following along with me, but obviously you can make yours unique and creative in your own design. Um, I'm going to show you quickly, just as a reminder, some of Wayne Tebow's pictures. I know we looked at um, his donuts, and so I'm just going to show you this one image of his cupcakes. Well, here's an image of Wayne Tebow's cupcakes. Let me scroll through to that. Here's our donut. Very creative. These look realistic. Um, ours are going to be painted um, for style. So you can do yours realistic or you can do yours kind of cartoony sort of um, fun if you want. Okay, here's some examples just that I found online. Just different styles of frosting, different little ideas you can add. You can add a face to yours if you want to make it more of like a Shopkins little cupcake. Um, that's up to you. Okay. I'm going to show you what I want you to do to get started before I get to class. Okay. Um, we're going to have to draw our cupcake first. When you're drawing, you want to make sure that you are pressing very lightly with your pencil. You don't want to push through the fabric of the canvas. Um, and you don't want your lines to be too hard. If you were to paint something yellow in this design, and you have a really dark pencil line, this yellow paint is not gonna be dark enough to cover that, okay? So you will see the pencil through. So I want you to practice, like we have been pressing really I want you to place your canvas that way as well. And I have a tracer that you can use. We're gonna use Line right here is about halfway. And I'm going to switch over to the document camera and show you how I want you to start drawing this. And then I'll be here and we'll get started together. Canvas, the first thing you want to do on the back, somewhere along the edge, you can write on the wood or you can write on here. Don't write on this part of the canvas. If you do, that often shows through to the front. Okay, so I want you to put your name here so that we can make sure we know who this is. Okay, then you're going to flip your canvas over and you want to make sure that you have this going portrait, vertical, up and down. So the long side, the long side is on each side of the canvas, the short side is on the top and the bottom. Okay, you want to trace this cupcake. I'm going to move this up a little bit depending on how much room you want on the bottom, whatever your design is going to be, you might adjust how you place this a little bit. And remember, you're going to trace really lightly. Hopefully, I might press a little harder just so you can see my pencil lines on the camera. But I want you to press very, very lightly. Okay? So this, let me adjust my, is what you should have for the cupcake liner. Okay? Now you want to start working on the actual cupcake. If you wanted to make this design here, you can make a design of the shape of the top of the liner. Some of you might decide you want frosting to be dripping down over the edge, okay? This is an example of why you wanna press really lightly so you can erase if you have any problems, okay? Now to add the frosting, I, on mine, just did like a large outline. Um, one way you can do that, a little easier if you want to break it down into sections is make one section like this with a wavy line. Other section that's a little bit smaller. So on the sides, it comes in a little bit. Pressing very lightly to do this. On the next one, again, I'm going to press a little bit lighter. And 
you can add one little section up at the top. If you want to add any fruit or an Oreo or an M&M or um, a strawberry or maybe a cherry, a blueberry, whatever you want to add on top of your cupcake, you can go ahead and add that on the top. And the last thing I want you to add in before I get here and we start painting together is the line. We talk about in art all the time, we add in the horizon line. The horizon line is outside and it divides the ground and the sky. But in a picture like this, we can still organize space even when it's something inside and it's something close up. So this is gonna be the line, kind of similar to how we use the horizon line, but this is gonna be the line of the table. So everything below this line would be painted like the table. Maybe your table is going to be wood, or maybe you want a tablecloth. Maybe this is going to be polka dotted. That's up to you. But everything below this line is the table where this cupcake is sitting. And everything above this line is the wall behind the cupcake. OK? So finish working on this design, just really lightly pressing with your pencil. And then um, we'll get started painting together. <laughs> 